So I've had several requests today for people to show me how to do, show them how to do eBooks. Uh, this is Calibre, it's software I downloaded today and took a look at. It seems to be fairly straightforward. So I thought I'd do a quick little screencast to talk about how to get your text file into EPUB. And then you can really convert it to any other format you'd like after that. So um, if you go to Calibre here, I uh, just downloaded it from the internet. It's open source, it works on all platforms. Add books, add an empty book. You'll see it pops up. I want one empty book. I want the author to be, uh, let's say it's Dave. So there is my book unknown book says it's Dave. So what we're going to do first is go in and edit the metadata. We're going to call it um, rhizomatic stuff. Author's Dave. We're going to do this too. Not sure why yet, but rhizomatic stuff. Didn't quite turn green. It turns green if you get it exactly the same for whatever reason. There it is. So um, we can go here and add a new title. I'm just going to go and use my default picture there. Um, and so this is sort of the main interface. And what you need is to have some text to go with this. So this is the metadata. As you can see here, when you hit OK, you've got um, your book. When you open it up, you've got a book in here by Dave. And you've got the title in here, but we have no actual text. So the trick here is to get your text put in. So what I've done is I copied two blog posts out of my um, off of my blog about rhizome stuff. I've been thinking about pulling all this stuff together at some point, so this is a good example. I hit save as. I'm going to save this as a text file. So I'm going to go in here, save this as text. We're going to call it rhizome. And I'm just going to save that to the desktop so I can find it when I go looking for it. Save. So that'll get rid of all the formatting here. And all I did is I put a number one in front of this rhizomatic education. And I put a number two in front of the second article. So it's two articles, one after another. To be honest, I don't know exactly how this is going to convert it. If you're much more careful and you do one title, two title, three title, it'll do an automatic convert and do a really nice automatic chapter thing when you do it in. That's something I did with the last piece that I'll show you in a second. But this is a live job. I, I don't know if this is going to work or not. So I'll go back and edit the metadata. And that's that big blue button there. I'm going to go over here to this red box in the corner. And then it's add something, and I'm going to go to the desktop where I put my file before. There it is, rhizome.txt, and open. You'll see it brought it in. I'll hit OK. And now I've got a text file associated with my rhizomatic stuff. Now, what I want to do is convert books, and I want to convert it into EPUB. See, output format, you have all these choices, but here's an EPUB format. I'm going to make Dave the publisher, and it's not part of any series, and I'm going to hit OK. And it says job working down here, and here, my friends, is my EPUB book. 1 to 76 pages, all set up. Open it up. There's chapter 23, right? So it's got it set up. Now, I didn't do a very careful job of setting up the chapters on that one. Right? So if you look at one where I did, here's the one that I had from Lori Phipps that he, where this whole conversation started this morning. Here's the text file. You can see where I put one and then the title, two and then the title, three and then the title. I did that in the text file. When you look at the EPUB for that one, and you look, it's got all the sections set up which is really kind of nice. So it works pretty well. <laughs> it gets you to EPUB in a hurry. I mean, there'll be some fiddling trying to get the, uh, the exact formatting done. But um, basically speaking, that's an export to EPUB. After that, it's just a question of details. So I hope that helps. Talk to you later.